Hey, uh, I'm going to be doing biceps today. Um, like the same thing as yesterday, I'm lowering the weight and amount. Actually, no, I'm raising the, the weight, but lowering the amount of repetitions and sets. I'm just going to do uh, three sets of one exercise. And lowering the repetitions as well. I'm using uh, 40 pounds uh, per side. I don't suggest you start with this at all. Um, maybe 15 cent, uh, pounds per side or 15 pound dumbbells. Um, yeah, so I'll get, get on with it. So it's, I'm not sure exactly if um, the more bodybuilding type routine of three sets per body part um, of three exercises, eight to 12 repetitions is enough, if that's better, or if training heavier weight, lower repetitions is better. From my understanding, um, training lower weight, you'll have more striations, which is like definition. Like if you ever see people with like, I don't have that great right now, I have in the past, uh, but see where the bicep sticks out and the deltoids stick out and uh, the triceps, you see that? That's a striation. Uh, basically the definition. And as well, I've heard that um, if you're training lower uh, reps and a bit higher weight, it's good to take a little bit more rest in between sets. And whenever you're going to pick it up, make sure you squat right correctly, back straight, and bend at the knees. I used to do this type of uh, weight training, and I found I had pretty half decent uh, muscle size and definition back then. Again, that also has to do definition anyways with uh, body fat percentage, which means cleaning up your diet, um, eating more healthy, which I'm going to attempt to do now. Um, so yeah, just avoiding fast foods, um, making sure you're getting the right amount of calories, like not too little and not too much, it's the right amount. You can find uh, online calculators on uh, the internet, that sort of thing. Okay, here we go. Actually, I might wait in a couple seconds. Just so your muscles can, uh, basically wherever you're doing a workout like this, you're using ATP, you always use ATP. It's a form of energy from uh, glycogen, uh, which is stored in your muscles, and glycogen you get from foods. Um, it's basically your stored up calories in your muscle that's used for energy, basically. And um, this is anaerobic exercise, which means it is used without a large quantity of air, um, or actually technically no air at all, I think. Um, just you're still breathing and everything. You have to make sure you do that very well. <laughs> but um, the ATP isn't bonding with air in this type of exercise, or very little amount. So whenever you're resting, you're letting the ATP recover. Okay. Uh, hmm. 
I think I might settle for that. I don't know. Maybe I should do one more set. So what I used to do is uh, four sets of a bit heavier weight. Much heavier than this, but I don't know if I'll try to do that again. I've heard of uh, a fellow ripping his bicep before from lifting. I think it was quite a bit amount of weight. But uh, just so you know, a whole lot of weight isn't exactly good for you, I don't think. I'm not sure what the circumstances was of his injury, but knowing that, not worth it. <laughs> okay, uh, now to do stretching. Let's work out your biceps. So find a wall, put your hand against it, pull away, stretching your chest and biceps. Do that on each side two or three times. Your hands against the wall, by the way. Imaginary wall here right now. Uh, secondary muscle you're using is your back. So what you do is put your hands on your head and push your elbows back as far as they can go for three seconds, two or three times. Uh, triceps, three seconds on each side, two, three times. Another muscle group you're using here is uh, the trapezius muscles. So three seconds that way, three seconds this way, three seconds that way, three seconds that way, and three seconds holding this down. Just a bit of pressure, not too much. Uh, do that two to three times uh, per side and per exercise. Um, One more thing you can do um, for stretching is lower back. You shouldn't really be using your lower back. <laughs> While doing biceps, you shouldn't be swinging. Like I should try to stay as still as possible. And if you're staying as still as possible, then you're using the bicep as much as possible. So that's the best. You can bend forward, touching either the ground or your toes, or go as far down as you can. Do that two or three times. That's it. Uh, tomorrow, I guess. Shoulders? No, no, did shoulders yesterday. Triceps. <laughs> Alright, so I'll see you for that.